Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to another MediaTek Labs LinkIt tutorial. For more videos like this, technical resources, and an active developer forum, please register at labs.mediatek.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read out sensor data and send a text message to a particular number. For that, we're going to use our smart greenhouse. This greenhouse is equipped with one water level sensor. This water level sensor sends the data through a growth wire to the Linked One hardware development kit. This Linked One is extended with the growth base shield so we can connect multiple sensors to the board. The other thing we need to do before we start programming is to enter the SIM card into the Linked One board. So we take a normal size SIM card and swipe it in the back in the SIM card holder like so. Once you've done that, we are ready to program. So let's go to our Arduino ID to start coding. We open our Arduino IDE and we first define where the water sensor is connected. As I showed before, the water sensor is connected on the A1 pin. So we define that here. The next thing is we have to include the library which supports the GSM functionality, like sending, receiving text messages, and creating and receiving phone calls. So we include lgsm.h. The next thing is to define the number we want to contact about the low water level. Every Arduino sketch has a setup function and a loop function. The setup function will be called once and you use it to set up all the whole environment. The loop function will then be called endlessly. So in our setup function, we will set up several things. First, we will use the serial to open up a channel so we can print out stuff to our serial console. This is very handy to have to debug our code. The next thing is we define that our water sensor, the pin, is an input pin. So we will read information from that pin. The next thing is we say that we will initialize the GSM module for sending SMS. And we do that by calling lsms.ready. This will make sure that we have reception, that the SIM card is entered, that everything is ready to send or receive text messages. Sometimes this will give us back false because it's not ready, there's no reception. So we have to do that until we get true back. So we do that by a while loop. So we have while it isn't true, we wait for a second and then we try again. And so we do that until we get true and then we know for sure we are ready to send text messages and we then can start measuring the sensor and sending out messages. So this completes our setup. So let's have a look at the loop. The loop is actually quite simple because it just calls the function, check water level, waits for 20 seconds and then checks the water level again. So what are we doing in the water level? We basically read the value from our sensor. We do that by calling analog read and then the pin we defined for our water sensor. This water level is a integer value and if it's above 60 indicates that there is no more water in the water tank. So that's why we have to check if the water level is greater than 60, which means there's no water in the tank, so we have to send a text message. So we call then send low water SMS. There's an other very easy function. So we start the SMS by calling lsms.beginSMS and we pass along the number we want to contact. We set the text of the message by calling lsms.print and then just put a string in there of the message we want to send. 
By calling lsms.endsms, we send the message out. Endsms will give us a Boolean value back. This Boolean value indicates if the SMS was sent successfully or if it failed. So depending on that, we will print it out on our serial port. So if it's successful, we say successfully sent. If not, it's failed. So this is how easy it is to use uh, the Linkit one board to measure if there's water in a water tank and to inform a user about it through a text message. So let's upload it now to our Linkit one board and see if we have water in there and if the text message comes through. So now the sketch is uploading to the board. It has done so successfully. Now the serial port is opening, so in a second we should see that the, yeah, the GSM module is initialized successfully, so we are ready for sending text messages. And now it's reading out the water sensor, and we should get a reading, there we go, uh, water level is 62, which means the water tank is empty, so we have to send an SMS, and the SMS gets sent successfully. So it's all working fine. And now every 20 second it will do a reading to check if it needs to send a text message or not. There you go, 65 sent successfully another SMS. So let's get some water and fill up the tank and then uh, the level should drop underneath 60 and it won't send a message anymore. So now there's some water in the tank, the levels drop below 60 and no SMS will be sent anymore. So this is how you use a Linkit 1 to send text message. If you're interested in more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and register at labs.mediatech.com for more technical resources and our active developer forum. Thanks for watching.